Hey everyone, we're working on our filters project today. And for this project, we have to complete two final images. So look through your images. You can use the stock search, but we would prefer if you take your own photographs. So definitely take your own photographs. This I use the stock search for. This is a picture of uh, the Ponte Vecchio in Italy. And um, let's get started on this. So the first thing I wanna show you is some tools. Over here on the left, you have the Marquee Select tool. You're gonna to be using this to break up your picture into geometric shapes, squares, rectangles, circles, stuff like that. And each one you're gonna work with some filters in. So let's just go over. You have the Marquee tool. Here's where I switch to an ellipse. Here's my rectangle. And then I have these modes. I have the new selection. I have add to the selection or I have remove from the selection. So you can see, you can use control to remove from the section and you can use shift to add to the selection or you could just click up here. Feather means that it will soften the edges of your selection. And anti-alias means that it's just keeping your selections from being uh, rough on the edges. It's keeping a smoother edge. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to take a section of my image. I'm gonna just take it right to the bridge there and I am going to copy this. Over on the layers, you're gonna see, I'm gonna do control C and then control V and then it pops up where my layers are. I now have a background and I have my first image. It moved it. So I'm gonna just move it back. I can shift things. I do not have to keep them in the same spot. So this is where you can be creative and have fun. You know, I could shift it down, move it up. I could even resize it if I wanted to. So it would be a little, like a little bigger or a little smaller, or I could keep it just the way it started and just line it up, whatever you wanna do there. Now I'm gonna to go to filters. So that, image is highlighted, that section is highlighted, and I'm gonna check out these filters. The effect library has a lot of really great things to play with. I can change the color of that one area, only the part that's going to be in, oh, I kinda like that one, and I could change it, I could dial it so it's down a little bit or a little bit more, anywhere I want. It just adjusts it a little bit and apply. Okay, so it changes the coloring. I can go back and I could check out some other things. So in the effects library, um, I could layer these on. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Let's try retro. That's kind of cool. So it gives it that retro black and white feel to it. Okay, um, I like that. Once again, I could dial it so it's a little less or a little more. And then I hit apply. Let's leave that one like it is and let's do another one. I'm gonna go back to the background. Make sure your background is highlighted. Go back to my marquee tool. This time, I am going to take a big part of this, but I'm gonna go and remove a selection. So now I am going to take a square from the center of that. If you look, when I do this, it's the frame is going to select, but the center part is not because I removed that part from my marquee. Control C, Control V, and now look how cool this looks. It's like a picture frame, right? So I can put it right back into place, you know, wherever I want it to go. And I can change the filter. So here I'm gonna get a frame of it. Let's try, so you can still play with the, some of these other ones, the details, uh, let's add some grain to this. So I can change and it's going to make it really grainy. It's a little hard to see, but it's grainy right around the um, frame there. We'll apply that, but then I'm also gonna add something else to it. So go up to filters, I like mosaic. Let's see what happens. So now it's really changing that. So the bigger I go, the bigger the mosaic triangles become. Apply, okay. Go back to my background image. Let's keep doing this. I'm gonna layer and play around. I'm gonna select something it's behind what I'm looking at. Copy, Control C, Control V. 
There's my image. Now I can put this so it's on top of what I just created. I could even play around with the size of it, right? Shrink it down a little bit. This will give you a little distorted, abstracted image. So I could play with that. Um, and then I could change the filter again. So let's try the effects library again. Let's go to artsy. Let's see what they have. So here you have uh, all these different things. Let's go for Frank. Apply. Um, I didn't change the amount there. So you can do whatever you want. I can bring this in here. I can even change where it is. So if I want this to go behind my other layers, I just click on that layer and drag it down, right? So now it's behind the layers. I don't like that because I can't see it anymore at all. So I'm going to bring it back up. Okay. I'm going to let that one be in the front. I can continue to play with that. Um, change it any way I want. We'll make it a little smaller. And I'm going to go on and pick another area. Let's get some of the water down here. So you are going to keep layering and layering until you get your image the way you want. Uh, take this. Oops, I just selected something. So I can just simply do Control D to deselect, or I could go up to select, and it has deselect there. Move this over. I'm going to shrink this down just because I like the way that looks when you're playing with the size and the contrast of it. I'm going to go to my filters and I am going to do uh, scan lines. There's something I like about the scan lines. Oops, did it not go? Try that again. Scan lines. There we go. Size. This is going to give me. Um, there we go. Keep the size small. Let's go a little, not so strong. Okay, and I could even change them to vertical scan lines. Apply, there we go. So once again, you're experimenting with all of these filters. Um, I'll show you also how to add on. So if I make a marquee frame here or select with the marquee tool, I can add to this and I could create another one. Now it becomes one big geometric shape. I need to make sure that I'm on the background layer. Control C, Control V. Now that whole shape will move together, right? So I'm building this up. I'm abstracting my image. I'm going to bring this down so it's smaller, playing with my image, experimenting a lot, um, changing. Fringe is kind of cool. It makes it kind of rainbowy. Um, it gives it some shadowy looks or like a glare. It's almost like a glare. So change that, play with that, play with the placement of that. And I'm going to just keep going until I layer it, working with the geometric shapes. You can also do the circles too. So remember that uh, and see what you can come up with. Have fun, be creative.